Ooh. Hello, I know it's been a while, but welcome back to my channel. And here is another video about being hard of hearing and deaf. Today, I wanted to talk specifically about listening fatigue. And it's something that I'm experiencing a lot of. And basically what it is, is that since my brain isn't hearing all of a sentence or all of a word. It'll hear like, hey, can you blank de blank blank? And I have to think and try and fill that in and process what sound it could have been, what their meaning might have been. And I'm thinking about this and I'm trying to get it done. So my brain gets really tired of filling in words usually incorrectly to try and make sense of what people are saying to me it doesn't happen as much when people you know face me and I can see their lips while they're talking to me but it does happen a lot especially from the back seat of my car when my kids are talking to me let me tell you they like to yell at me when I don't hear them right, which is just rude and we're working on that, but it's a thing. And the hearing aids help me pick up more of what I'm missing. However, it doesn't completely fix my hearing, obviously. So what I'm hearing now would be like, hey, can you go and pick up the blank so less words being left out. However, I'm still having to fill in those blanks and figure out what I'm missing. Plus, I'm hearing a whole bunch of extra sound when I have hearing aids in. And that's a completely different type of listening fatigue. So I'm either hearing too much of the superfluous sound and trying to filter out what's important, which makes my brain really tired, or if I don't have hearing aids in, I'm not hearing what's being said and my brain's trying to fill in what the person could possibly be saying to me. So those are the two things that I've been struggling with a lot that I've really noticed and it makes me really cranky. I've noticed that a lot, especially at the end of the day, I just want quiet. I don't want people talking to me. I don't want to try and listen to a television show or a conversation or even the radio. Like, I just want the quiet. Of course, with the quiet comes tinnitus, which is the ringing in my ears that I have constantly. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation. So I'm either going to be over stimulated and tired from that or way under stimulated and my brain's tired from trying to fill in the gaps of everything which results in a lot of headaches i am um, now that my kids are getting a little older they're five and three right now they're about to be six and four you know i've kind of me and my husband have tried to kind of explain to them hey mommy doesn't hear that great so you know, if I ask you to repeat yourself, it's because I don't understand you. I'm trying to help you. And my oldest, my son, he kind of understands that. He um, he knows a little bit more about like deafness and deaf culture, just as we've been exposing it to them. And so like on a TV show or a movie, if someone's deaf, he'll be like, oh, hey, they're like you, mommy. Like, yes, you try, you're getting it. Um, although he doesn't really understand, like, some deaf people aren't verbal. Unlike me, I went enough years with enough hearing to be able to speak and not have any sort of speech impediment or any sort of weird accent or lisp or anything like that. Not that any of that's wrong. It's just <clears throat> not how I talk. So... I am perfectly verbal. However, I cannot hear people being perfectly verbal to me, which is a problem. <laughs> um, but it is, it is a lot of learning. And, you know, 
my son finally understands or is starting to understand as he gets older and is exposed to more things at school and through TV that, oh, this is just another type of person, the way a person can be. My daughter, not so much. She yells at me if I can't hear her. For example, I drive her to school every day and today she was yelling at me or she was telling me that there's a green light because you know it's something we've been noted we've been working on you know, green means go red means stop we play red light green light um so she goes green light i hear good night and i'm like oh good night and she goes no no mom green light green light the light is green and i think she's starting to understand that hey mom night not always know what I'm saying. Um, however, she's very much a three-nager and has a lot of attitude about it. Again, something that we have to work on. Um, that's just part of the learning curve of being a parent. And being a deaf parent with hearing kids is a little bit of a challenge. Um, and on that note, it adds to the listening fatigue especially when they're fighting and they shriek just right that it like hits the same pitch as the tinnitus and it's like it goes off it's like a flashbang in my brain of just ringing and that definitely makes a migraine and it's just something that I'm having to navigate like my friends are like oh hey why don't you have your hearing aids in today and to be honest I tell them because I don't want to hear anything because I'm very tired and my brain can't filter out the superfluous noise from what's important and a lot of that can deal be dealt with with adjusting the pitch and frequency and the loudness of my hearing aid and I've done a lot of that but there are just some days especially like if I'm sick and my ears are clogged or if I've had a really long night because my child wouldn't sleep that my brain is just too tired to process the noise or filter out what I'm hearing and instead of giving myself a migraine I think okay well we're just gonna fake it till we make it today and not have our hearing aids in and a lot of that means that I spend a lot of time going mm-hmm sure uh-huh and not really hearing what's going on um or it means dealing with the opposite fatigue of okay so obviously they're not saying Spain what could they be saying rain train crane again it's a very tiring process dealing with hearing loss and being a worker in any sort of business. I can't imagine if I tried to work in like retail or food service how much more tiring it would be. I deal with a lot of patients but I see on average maybe 20 patients a day as opposed to like 200 people a day if I were in a different industry. So I think that helps that when I do see a patient, I'm in a quiet room-ish and it's one-on-one. -on -one. I can look directly at them and read their lips and focus on what they're saying to me. And that helps eliminate some of the fatigue as opposed to like trying to decipher what a customer is ordering or asking for in a busy environment. So. All of you out there who suffer hearing loss or deafness, I, I feel you. I stand in solidarity with you. It's tiring and a lot of people aren't accommodating and they don't understand, oh, well, why does she always have a headache? I always have a headache because I'm trying to figure out what you're telling me, what you're saying to me, because my brain is tired from trying to make up for the sense that I'm missing. Like, imagine if your brain was trying to make up for touch or for taste or for smell. Like, when your nose is clogged and you can't breathe properly. <laughs> so that was my little mini rant slash 
foray into deafness and hard of hearing culture for this week. Um, we are coming up on Christmas, so that'll be interesting. Luckily, our family Christmases are kind of small. It's just my parents and my mom's mom and stepdad. So it's small. Um, my dad's also hard of hearing and my grandfather. So we all know what we're suffering from. And it, it keeps things quiet, which is nice. It's a nice, relaxing holiday. So to all of you, good luck. You can make it through the day with your listening fatigue. I believe in you. If you can believe in me, we can get through this. And happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Um, Merry Christmas. And everybody have a great week. We can do this, guys. Bye.